Welcome to all uh, PhD study tips followers, subscribers and uh, all the other non-subscribers too. Here I am telling 10 things that you need to remember as soon as you enter your PhD. First thing is absorption. Absorption is very very crucial because if you don't absorb yourself totally into the atmosphere of the university that will become a great problem because you can't expect something happen uh, something to happen like before like you may be an assistant professor before joining phd but you might have lived a very good life with good respect and status all of that will not follow as a research scholar research scholar has to face a lot of um, uh, bullying sometimes sometimes uh, we may not get that type of respect that we have uh, enjoyed previous life of course not all of them but at least some of them might have lived a good life and then joined into phd so here absorption is very important to the conditions of the university so if the university is uh, up to not up to the mark then you can just make sure uh, the absorption um, should be accordingly you should humble yourself you should take uh, bullying everything you have to uh, all the surroundings you have to abs absorb into your mind heart and body absorb absorb i'm not observing observing is different from absorbing okay so that is the first thing then second thing second thing is uh, to maintain a good relationship with your supervisor this is again a crucial thing which i have been telling again and again so as soon as you enter it carries first impression is the best impression so that first impression is the best impression means you have to make first three months uh, very crucial in your phd journey if that first three months you are missing with just a kind of uh, lag life then it will affect you because you may not maintain good relationship with your supervisor so you should fall in, into the eyes of your phd supervisor that you are clever, clever enough you are intelligent enough you are responsible enough so whatever may be that sh you should go into the eyes of supervisor so secondly you have to maintain a good relationship with your supervisor and the third point is you have to make sure to do all things in time like doing pre-course work filling out applications and uh, uh, attending uh, uh, means attending all the meetings and all don't skip anything so this will lead you into some problem so you need to be very vigilant this is what my third point vigilant in all happenings around the university so that you are part of that phd program you are very much in the part because i see some so many scholars they don't become part of the phd structure program they skip some things they skip some pre pre-course work this this keeps um uh, in the name of uh, busy schedule something so it's not be like that so you should be a part of uh, the phd program attending everything that is the third thing so fourth thing is your time management skills you should do everything in time like if you are given some periods to handle in, uh, in lab or somewhere as a part of uh, uh, research assistantship then your time management plays a key role because sometimes professors uh, may not be up to the mark but you have to make sure uh, not to get uh, anything stuck up with uh, time management so make sure you do everything in time that is one important thing as soon as you join into phd and the other thing that you have to remember is that is the sixth one uh, you should make you should you should have a good uh, uh, psychological status like you should be psychologically strong that is very important because what happens in phd all those four years is there are chances you may go into depression or your stress levels may increase or sometimes uh, work pressure may be more that again depends upon the university some universities have too much uh, work pressure but some universities they don't have a lot of work pressure uh, so it depends upon the universities so make sure you don't fall into stress your psychological situation is good you may not go mad and crazy for some things okay that's very important and the seventh thing is you have to um, also uh, uh, means uh, 
build up your psychological strengths with positive habits like it's not all about phd you have to create some hobbies other than phd so detach yourself from that's what uh, my seventh point so detaching yourself from phd life and uh, creating another set of life uh, that will bring freshness whenever you enter again into phd form of life so this is very important and eighth thing is uh doing uh, the works uh, that are interested to you with full responsibility N uh, with full responsibility means uh, you should be responsible you should take initiative and you should do things further and uh, not always depending upon somebody that's very very important okay that is the eighth one and ninth point is uh, you should not uh, uh, cheat anyone you should not cheat anyone and uh, lie to anyone especially don't lie to your supervisor whatever may be you should always tell the tell truth that way you'll become free within yourselves you don't need to hide anything or of course what i'm telling to tell truth doesn't mean your personal life always keep secret your personal life what i what i mean is whatever the duties you perform within the university tell truth about them that is very important to supervisor especially so don't don't uh, uh, cheat or lie in any way that will of course every day is not sunday today you may do it but tomorrow if somehow they find then that's a problem so always always be genuine and sincere if for example your supervisor is asking you where are you right now for example you are outside tell that you are outside don't tell that you are in the university okay this is one small example but make sure you be genuine and sincere uh, in that respect and the tenth and uh, final point is uh, uh, don't uh, get uh, caught in disciplinary matters like uh, uh, in the form of uh, anything like whatever university has some discipline to maintain with the co-faculty students so this is very problematic so especially men scholars so you should be very careful with uh, disciplinary issues so that you may not be um, like uh, like terminated from phd that is the final issue okay that is uh, everybody knows that these are ethical things so remember whenever you join uh, all the phd aspirants the moment you join your phd take note of all my 10 points and start your phd afresh with uh, full of vigor and vitality this will enable you to uh, make difference uh, in your phd journey those three four or five years whatever you may whatever that depends upon the university uh, some universities have, some universities have six years for example you take rbn university uh, that is in jaipur uh, it has six years full-time phd maximum so before you re-register but almost many people will finish a full-time PhD in four or five years four years maximum let's see thank you so much